InsideThunder.com, powered by iHeartMedia, Oklahoma City. Yeah, I think, you know, for myself and other guys who got traded here, it was it was a transition. And I think, you know, coming into to, to this team at the time that we did, we also, I think, from a distance in the beginning of the year, watched. That was kind of a different year here in terms of injuries and uh, not really catching any breaks. So, um, you know, you know, personally coming here was, uh, was really exciting. I think I, I understand what kind of organization this is and the kind of team that, it is, and although we're not playing the postseason this year, I think everybody knows what kind of team it is. You see what kind of organization it is? What kind of organization is it? I think it's top notch. I think it has great people. I think it has uh, multiple MVP candidates. I think um, it has a community that I think you saw last night when we got home from the airport. There were hundreds, if not thousands, of people waiting outside after a loss. Um, I think that's what kind of organization it is. Can you talk a little bit about that? I saw a video of you walking past the fence. What did that feel like for you for the first time? It was, uh, I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm a big Green Bay Packers fan. And I feel like Oklahoma City is kind of like um, the Green Bay Packers. It's like a, a small town where the, the fans really, they're just all about the team and they support you no matter what, win or lose. And it's almost like you just know you'll never hear a boo in the arena because they're they're really like with you. They're not there to watch you, and so I think growing up and being a Packers fan, I feel like it's very similar to like that small town. Everybody's really behind you, uh, way, and it, I think it makes you feel be play better. I think it's a it's an energy in the building. Uh, he'll be fine. It's been a rough couple decades for him. Always at eighty five. Always at eighty five. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I think being a guy who has been around uh, longer than a lot of the guys in the locker room and um, uh, has, I think, played in a lot of different organizations, and um, I think I am looked to by some of the younger guys, and I think even some of the guys who are, you know, my same age, just having been through different, di play, played for different coaches, being on different teams, and I think. Um, that is definitely a big part of my role is to be a locker room guy, to be a guy that guys can go to and, and talk to whether it be about offense or defense or, you know, to be honest, just life things. We pretty much spend our entire, you know, seven months together. So I think that that's, there's definitely a few guys on every team that are that. No, I've not. I've not. He's, um, you know, I play with a lot of great players in college, play with D Wade, uh, I play with. Hall of Famers like uh, Jay Kidd and Dirk and Manu and T Mac and Yao, but to be honest, when it comes to Russell, like I've never seen an all around athlete like that. I think I think after every single game, I think everybody would probably agree with him that he can go play another game after the game. And I don't think I've ever seen that. Mostly, you know, guys in the locker room taking tape off and they're like, you know, you can tell they're they're spent or even at during the end of a game you can tell a guy is spent and Russell's a guy whose who's motor is like I've never seen before. The way, and, and to be honest, the way he can post up, he can shoot from the perimeter, he can defend, he can really, he might be the, the best athlete. I'm glad he's not here to hear me say this because I wouldn't say this to his face, but he might be the best athlete I've, I've ever seen. Along the lines of you talking about the positivity of the organization and you being new here, mm -hmm. a lot of the guys, it seems, in the summer spend that time uh, in the offseason, getting back to the community, and I know you're new here. Do right. you have any plans of making that kind of an impact on the community, or kind of fitting your way in? No, you know, um, I think since I've been here, I've I've realized very much that the the team and the community is so interwoven that basically just being around, they give us many opportunities. Just you know, to go out and to to read read in schools or to go to um, you know uh, food kitchens and things like that. So I think we lean very much on the team to to find opportunities like that for us and. Um, like you said, I've only been here a few months, but um, there's no question that when you realize, I think, how important the, the fans and the community is to our team, that we realize we need to also you know, find those opportunities to give back. Everything was so in flux this year. How valuable can a 
full summer or training camp be in terms of just getting everybody on the, on the same page in terms of what you want to do defensively and offensively? Yeah, I think, to be honest, just the, the time for guys to get healthy is, is the biggest thing, obviously. Um, to come back fresh, like you said, next year, hopefully healthy bodies. And there'll always be changes, I think, to an NBA team. That's just kind of the nature of the of the business. But um, I think you do see, you know, how big a piece Ennis has become. And obviously, we're all excited. I think see, you know, what Russell and Ennis and Kevin and Serge and everybody healthy will look like. And so I think the training camp and starting a season out together does have a really big impact. So um, you know, we just hope that it can be a, a lot more smooth next year. Where do you think Ennis can get better defensively? And where have you seen him that you think he can go You know, I think he's been around, uh, you know, Mark Bryant quite a bit since since he got here. He's kind of mentored him very much. And I think for Ennis, it's not like a strength issue. It's not a quickness issue. He has those things. I think it's really just like it's an education on, like, basically how to, how to do certain things. And I think... Ennis is so so gifted that he gets away with a lot of things, and I think um, he's young and he's still learning. Like he needs to really lock in in certain situations, and that's really what it will take for him to be to to make those strides defensively. And I think he will. And I think being in this organization where you know development is a big part of it, I think you'll you'll see him make strides. You can talk about Russell's ability to almost play two. Uh, if you that that was possible physically, but mental side of things, how have you seen him mentally able to handle everything that was put on him? You know, to be honest, I, I was only here for, you know, part of the year, so it's I think it's hard to say because I know a lot happened before I got here, but when I got here, he was basically in the midst of averaging a triple-double, you know, so I think it's his job to, when the lights come on, to go out and perform, um, and I know sometimes he likes to what I like to call angry Russell. He likes to put on his angry Russell face with the media and do that. But I also think that if that's what makes him tick or if that's when that's what it takes for him to be at his best, that mindset, then I think we probably all agree then more power to angry Russell. But I, I just think that, you know, when the lights come on, that's what we expect from him is to play at a high level. And so I think mentally um, he found, I think, the place he needs to be to perform at, at that level. I guess because I just read some articles and those kinds of things about like him interacting with the media, um, I was a bit shocked that there was kind of like whatever that little spat or whatever that was, the way he uh, gets angry sometimes. Uh, because in the locker room, I think, and if you guys, the more you're around, you probably see like he has a side to him that's not that at all. He's just like the nicest, most normal guy, uh, but on the court, I don't think that he's his best basketball player when he's the nicest, most normal guy. I think he is able to, you know, become something else out there on the court, and um, I think that's why he's unique. That's why he's able to be who he is. You've been around a lot. When you look at the components on this roster, it's healthy. Mm -hmm. Do you see something that could be pretty special? Oh, no question. Yeah, no question. Um, you know, the... the the day I got traded here, it was like, you know, I was extremely excited because you realize that there's not a lot of places that have like multiple MVP guys and can win a championship. And so being a guy who has been on several teams, you realize that you're not just handed a team like this. You, the playoffs aren't even um, a given. You know what I mean? It's, so it's like you realize that when guys are healthy and when we're clicking on all cylinders, that there's no question that we can beat absolutely anybody. Thank you.